Game day, gloves going in, the bag, the last test before the season starts against Hammerby TFF. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. Welcome back to Stockholm where, as you can see, it's still snowing. Nearly the end of March, nearly time for the season and the snow is still falling down. But we've got a good episode for you today. We've got the final pre-season friendly before the start of the 2023 season. So we'll bring you along for that, see if we're ready to go. And I'll also chat through some of the targets that I've set for this upcoming season in order to make it the best one yet. But right now, heading off to training, in the snow, day before the game, you gotta love it. If you enjoy the video, please hit that like button. It helps us out loads. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's go make some saves in the snow. Come on. Training done. Blech. <laughs> quite short, quite sharp. Game tomorrow. So just warm up rondos, a little bit of crosses working on with the keepers, then set pieces and ready to go for the match. I'm gonna head home now because I've got something pretty cool happening. And then I'll tell you about tomorrow's game after that. Today's finally arrived. The bags are being packed. We're moving out the Airbnb, booyah! <laughs> finally moving into the flat. We're finally heading to where we're actually supposed to be after nearly a month. You've done very well at the nomadic football life, yet again. Yeah, but I'm an old hand with this. You are, I'm we are, we are. Still, it is a little bit frustrating. Yeah. It's done now, we're moving out, the bags are packed, and we're gonna head over to the new flat. We've now moved in. Everything's unpacked. Frankie's cooking tea at the minute. <laughs> but are you feeling happy that you're now finally in our flat, Franks? Yes, we're very happy and settled. Yeah, finally been able to unpack those suitcases. They are not full anymore. We found a place to live, which was obviously high on the list of priorities. Took some time, but we got there in the end. And it's a lovely little place. We've got a nice kitchen here, as you can see. We've even got a little balcony outside, which is lovely. It will be nice when it's not snowing, like it is at the minute. Living area, living slash sleeping area, because capital city life, not the biggest. I do think it's actually my favorite kitchen from the places that we've lived so far. It's very cool. It's got lots of nice old kind of furniture, nice old table, nice little chair here. We've got a massive cupboard for food, which is fantastic. Look at the size of that. How can you not be happy with that? And today we made a special trip into town because we will make a video where I show you guys this shop because it's unbelievable. But there's a shop called Little Britain in Stockholm with all the kind of British culinary classics that you could hope for. So Frankie went especially for some Yorkshire tea. Decaf, but still Yorkshire tea. And that's what I'm excited about. She also got Heinz salad cream, which I'm not as fussed about, but apparently that was exciting as well. And then for tea today, we've got Nando's Peri Peri sauce to add on the chicken. But all jokes aside, it is a big relief to finally get in to our place, a place where we can actually relax, wind down a bit, start to build up our routines, all that kind of thing. I don't think I realized how tough it would be just living in that Airbnb, because we were there for nearly four weeks. Obviously looking around flats, but then you gotta go through the whole process of signing for the flat. In Stockholm, it's actually really difficult to get a flat contract. So that was super stressful, all at the same time as obviously settling into the new team, the new teammates, the new training program, all that kind of thing. Trying to find a gym to work out, that was a whole other different debacle as well. But we're there, finally. Can breathe out a little bit, but very relieved to be in our spot. And the best bit is, it's only 10 minute walk, from football, so that's perfect. The plan this evening, just chill, 
have some tea, relax, take it easy. And then tomorrow, match day, we're playing against Hammerby TFF, our final pre-season friendly, as I said. Hammerby TFF are the second team of Hammerby, who are in the Ausvenskan, one of the biggest Stockholm teams. They're always a tough team to play against, lots of very talented young players. So it'll be a good test as our final friendly before the season starts. Last week, we had a pre-season friendly against Geffler, the team that won Etan Nora last year. They're now in Super Etan. We managed to beat them 3-2, so that was a strong, strong result against last season's champions. So the pre-season's been going well. But as I say, just chilling this evening, getting some food, nice relaxed evening, ready for the final pre-season game day tomorrow. So plan for the evening, Yorkshire tea, and finding Michael on the telly, which we've heard good things about. And then I'll speak to you on game day tomorrow. Game day, gloves going in, the bag ready to go. Should be a really good one, looking forward to it. I'm sure both teams will go for it, the last test before the season starts. So it should be a really good game. The ground is only the other side of town, so nice and easy, get the tube across. Shouldn't take too long to get there. So we'll head off, take you guys along, show you what happens. And then after the game, we'll have a little bit of a chat about the goals and targets for the 2023 Etan season. It's getting exciting now, getting close to kicking it off. So let's go smash it. Should be a good game. Wish us luck. I'll see you there. Wow, amazing, amazing. <laughs> Welcome to the channel of Conor Coffee. <laughs> and we're here. Played here a couple of times before. Nice ground. So we'll head in, get changed get warmed up and then the game will start. Looking forward to it, it should be a good one. I'll speak to you afterwards. Let's go. So, to celebrate the end of pre-season and the win yesterday, we've come to Stockholm Brunch Club. Frank's good decision to come? Very good. Happy with it? I think it gets a strong four out of five on our Stockholm food rating. Well, they could have given me a little bit more toast. <laughs> That's the only improvement that I'd add. But Monday's day off chance to explore the city a bit more and get some cracking scram. 
<laughs> so if you don't mind, I'm going to carry on. So we're back from the brunch club. Very nice indeed. Enjoying our culinary exploration of Stockholm. Some nice places to eat. I'm just going to put you down here. So the game. Not too much work from my point of view. We did a really good job in terms of dominating the ball, dominating possession, dominating control. They got a very soft penalty, which we didn't agree with. I'm not sure many people did, but that was their only shot on target. But the main action was probably just after the penalty where I managed to get the smother just in time, just before the striker. That's the one thing when you have a lot of control as a goalkeeper, you need to be ready for those quick counter attacks when it does break down. But just like we did with the Geffler game, we did very well to keep our heads, keep pushing, keep control and to come from behind to win. But as I say, good game, good result and a nice way to end pre-season. So to end the video, as I said I would, I'm gonna go through my goals and targets for the 2023 season. It's always important to set goals. It's a good way of establishing your motivation for the season, and it's a good way of holding yourself to account, something that you can review throughout the season to keep yourself on track. The way that I work with goals is I normally have an ultimate goal, which is the main thing that I want to achieve. I then have product goals, which are things that I can measure. And then finally, process goals. These are the small things that I can do every single day that I have complete control over, which if I do well, will help to achieve the product goals, which will help to achieve the ultimate goal. This is a system you can apply to anything, not just football, but it's something that I use each year with football for my goal setting. Now, these are my goals, my personal goals. I'm not speaking for the team or for anyone else, but my ultimate goal for this season is to help Vasalund to win the Etan Nora. We've got a great team, a great squad, a strong club, so to help and to contribute into winning a title is something which I can set as a really strong ultimate goal for this year. Now the product goals, the things that I can measure, the first one is to play 25 plus games. We've got 30 games in our league season. We've got some cup games as well. I wanna play 25 or more of those games. And from those games, my second product goal is I wanna keep 10 plus clean sheets. Clean sheets is a difficult one. I know we love them as goalkeepers, but it's not something that you have complete control over. You don't want to obsess about it fully because if it doesn't happen, as we've seen, many things can happen in a game which can take away a clean sheet. You don't want that to ruin your mentality. So it's not something I'm gonna put loads of focus on, but it is a high standard that I can set myself, which I can push myself towards and a good target to have. And the final three product goals are things that I can really control and I can really measure. So I want my save percentage to be above 75%, especially when you're in a team that dominates a lot of games, you might not get as many shots. So it's important to really be ready for those key moments. I want my pass accuracy to be above 85%. It's an important part of my game and something that I can bring to the team. So I want to really dial in on that and have a high pass accuracy. And finally, I want my cross success to be above 85%. This one's a little bit more difficult to measure. It's hard to say what is a successful action with a cross. But for me, it's something that I'm going to look at and see, did I make the right decision and did I execute it correctly? In terms of coming for the ball and catching or coming for the ball and punching. But it's something that I can use to really be critical, but focused on my crosses to make sure that I'm executing those actions in the right way. And then finally, we have the process goals. These are things that I can control completely every single day, which should help to achieve those product and ultimate goals. So the process goals, be early to training every single day so that I've got time to warm up and fully prepare for each session. Number two, to have two strength sessions in the gym every single week. Number three, to have one recovery session in the gym after every single game. Number four, to average 90% sleep score on the WHOOP each month. Number five, to have one game analysis session after each match. Number six, to have one opposition analysis session at the beginning of each week to prepare for that coming fixture. Number seven, to film and analyze my training sessions as well as my games to see key things that I can keep working on and improving and to go through that with my goalie coach. And then finally, to have one day off a week completely switched off in order to relax, recover and reset. So there you have it, my process, my product, and my ultimate goals for the 2023 season. We'll keep a log of them and we'll have a look back at the end of the season and we'll tick them off, see which ones we managed to achieve. But thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As I said, next week, big match day vlog for the first game of the 2023 season. So make sure you tune in for that one. But if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, helps us out loads. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This week's Patreon of the Week is Duncan Jackson. Duncan, thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting the channel. We wouldn't be able to do this 
without patrons like yourself. So a massive, massive thank you. I'll see you next week for the next video as always, but look after yourself guys, keep chasing improvement, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and I'll speak to you in a bit.